What is going on guys? Hopefully you're doing well. My name is Joe Anklum if you are new to the channel. Um, I just wanted to say thank you guys for clicking on the video. And before I do get into the video and the workout footage, I just wanted to show you guys a recent unboxing I did. I actually forgot to record when I unboxed it. But I wanted to thank Legacy Apparel and Lester for sending me out this letter first of all. And this t-shirt. I don't know, hopefully you guys can see that, but um, it's basically kind of like a dictionary definition type of thing for the word swall, obviously, as you can see. But he sent me out this letter and he wanted me to kind of talk to you guys about the shirt itself and then just kind of talking about his apparel company. But he realizes he's kind of a small fish in the big sea of apparel companies out there right now. But he had followed me on Instagram for a while and reached out to me to see if I would be interested and I'm definitely... Thankfully sent this out, really appreciative of the words he said in his letter. He said that he had been following me for a while and um, it was really cool because he had said that he could see my hard work, passion and kind of seen me grow for a while now. So thank you again to Lester and Legacy Apparel right here and make sure you guys go give him a follow. That's his Instagram right there and let's get into this video in just a second. So thank you once again for clicking on the video and today's topic is going to be something that I think a lot of you can relate to different goals based on where you're at in your training or where you're at in your body composition or goals for that matter. And what I'm going to be talking about is something that I had recently seen on a video that Stan Efferding had been talking about and something that I kind of wanted to share with you guys just because I think it really hit home for kind of how I view diets, quote unquote, and just how I view just food in general and how people should kind of view changing their habits. And I'm kind of being touchy when it comes to saying the word diet or using it in certain ways that most people use it. And um, the reason for that is just because I don't like using the word diet. and by the end of this video you'll kind of understand why and hopefully you'll be able to kind of almost sympathize and understand and almost have the same mindset as I do after hearing this. The reason why I'm making this video is because I feel that a lot of people who either one are bodybuilding even for a show, bodybuilder prepping I should say for a show or doing some sort of prep for a show and that sort of dieting or just someone who is a normal, normal everyday person trying to lose weight and trying to go on a diet to lose said weight. So I'm talking about both kinds of people in this, in this sort of sense. And the reason why I'm bringing this up is because you see so many people who do lose weight um, and the same can kind of be related to people who binge after their shows because their cravings are so heavy they put on that weight very quickly. So someone who's just trying to lose weight, they'll sometimes not even crash diet, they'll use a, a diet me a method that does work and it works for them, but it's not maintainable. And obviously for a bodybuilding show or prepping for any sort of show, that's not maintainable. That body fat's not maintainable and that diet is definitely not maintainable. But in terms of someone who's trying to um, maintain that body composition for their life, the last thing they want to do is go back to where they were before that diet. So what I'm trying to what I'm trying to get at here is when you are dieting or when you are trying to lose weight, trying to change your body composition, even if you're trying to bulk up, you're trying to put on size, trying to put on muscle mass, you want to make sure that what you're doing is maintainable. If you're eating chicken and broccoli every day, and keeping your fats at next to nothing or you're keeping your carbs at next to nothing and you're feeling run down, you're feeling like you aren't eating any carbs and it's suffering, your life's suffering, that's not maintainable. Yes, you might be looking good for one day on stage if you're bodybuilding or you're prepping for some sort of show, but if, you're, if, if that's not your life and you're just a normal everyday person, 
you can't function that way, especially if you have a job, a full-time job. It's just not realistic. So what I'm trying to say here is if you are trying to lose weight, if you are trying to do something, even prepping for a show, you want to make sure that you're eating the foods that you like, you're doing a workout routine that is something you enjoy doing that you'll actually go to the gym and do. The last thing you want to do is set yourself up for something if you're not someone who doesn't hates running. Don't run. Do something that's more, um, do, try CrossFit, try weightlifting. But if you hate weightlifting and you love running, do something you like. Yes, it might not be something that um, maybe your husband or significant other or your friends do, but if it's something that gets you moving, gets you burning calories, and allows you to almost enjoy what you're doing and not make it such a chore, then it's definitely going to be something that you can maintain long term in a more realistic manner. And with someone who's going to the gym after work or going to work out after work, it's got to be something that you enjoy because the last thing you want to do is do something you hate after doing, um, after working all day. And um, God forbid that you hate your job, but there's a lot of people who do not like their job. So the last thing you want to do after your work is go give you something. Um, go get into something that's going to give you more stress or more um, headache. So my point is make your diet something that's maintainable. Incorporate the foods that you like into the diet, but also understand that you're going to have to make sacrifices. It's going to be hard. If you're trying to lose weight, you're going to be hungry at some times. Um, it's going to be inevitable. But just understand that it's, it's realistic to suffer a bit. Um, Sorry about that, my camera actually overheated one of the downfalls of the A5100 by Sony, but anyways, I digress. What I was getting back to is that losing weight in itself is going to be difficult. It's going to be something that's going to cause you a little bit of suffering just mentally as well as physically. You're going to be a little bit more hungry than normal just because you are basically pulling yourself down a little bit and your body is used to eating those calories. So taking those away is going to be something that it might be a little bit difficult for you, especially at the beginning. And that's why everyone isn't just losing weight all the time. And that is why it's difficult and not everyone can do it in a quick manner or as effectively as um, the next person. But with that also being said, you do not want to make it something that is going to be super painful where you cannot even do it and maintain it. And that comes where that comes when you are taking out all the foods you like and just restricting yourself completely, which yes, might be something that in the eyes of someone who's never really kind of read up or learned about how to diet properly or how to maintain that diet or just someone who doesn't really um, understand they might think oh well, I have to restrict everything that's bad and yes to a degree that would be the the end all be all and what would you would want to do in a perfect world but as humans we have to be able to kind of appease our cravings to a certain degree and with that being said I try to usually about 75 to 80 percent of my foods being good foods and kind of that that 20 percent or so um, allowing myself to eat those foods that I enjoy and kind of finding those foods that aren't necessarily so bad and eating those when I feel those cravings so that in the long run is going to help you maintain that diet yes you might not be feeling like you're 100 percent clean eating and you're eating all this plant-based diet um, and you're just 100% um, green but you're at least feeling like you're maintaining a diet that you can actually enjoy and live and not feel like your your life has just been turned upside down because you're not able to eat or enjoy the foods that you like and um, the same can be said for the working out if it's something that you don't enjoy chances are you're not going to be able to adhere to it. So find the things you enjoy, try different things out, and make sure that you are trying things and staying consistent with them and um, really just finding stuff that works for you because not everyone is the same and that can be said for everything in life but especially weight loss, muscle gain, and just that sort of thing. Um, it's all variable based on your body type who you are, what you like to eat, and that's why it's very difficult for me when you guys give me tips, or ask me for tips, excuse me, it's very difficult without knowing your body type and working with you. So I apologize if you've reached out to me and that's something that's um, kind of difficult for me to do, just answer you in an email when you give me minimal information. And even if you did, it's very difficult because really finding 
a, a way that works for everyone takes time and it's just very um, tedious so um, hopefully that makes sense guys hopefully this video has helped you out in some way and hopefully you can take something away from this so as always thank you for watching if you're still watching I know this went a little bit longer than I thought it was going to but thank you for watching like I said guys and I will talk to you guys very soon Please like the video if you did enjoy it. Subscribe to my channel for more videos. And I will talk to you guys in the next video. Thank you again.